Hello viewers, it's Super GT here. Welcome to my guide for making you freaking good at Forza. So, part one here is learning ABS off. So this is one of the big assists in the game. And if you want to become one of the top 1% players or just better than you are now, then learning to go without this assist is crucial. You have to really learn this assist because it can save you, I'd estimate, about one or two seconds a lap, depending on the track and depending on the car, but it can save you one or two seconds. So that is obviously a lot of time, and that's just one assist. And of course there's traction control and manual, which can save you further time. Um, so, the first thing I'm going to show you is my dead zone settings. So go over to the options uh, tab, and then go down to control and wheel and then press X to go to the advanced settings. Now the deceleration axis, dead zone, inside and outside, these are the two we're concerned with here because we are dealing with braking or deceleration. So these are my settings that I've used, 15 on the inside, 100 on the outside. So for the first 15% of travel on the trigger, nothing will happen because I found that the braking is quite sensitive in this game so I reduced that to 15. You can have it on zero if you want but uh, the settings I prefer is 15 100 of course you can play around with that if you have got your own setting then feel free to use your own setting but those are mine and you can use those as well now back on the basic settings here this will only work if you're using brake as a trigger or or even the right stick some people use the right stick but it won't work if you have uh, brake as a button so some of you might have brake as X or A or something it won't work because you have to essentially hold down a trigger part of the way whereas on a button you can only press it in or out it's only 100% or 0% so it has to be on a trigger I use the left trigger and those are my settings there if you want to use those as well so the car I'm going to be using to demonstrate ABS off is this one the Ferrari Challenge Stradale now if you want to click the screen now it will go to another uh, YouTube video which is another one of mine showing you how to get the tune is a tune that I made which makes the car really stable and easy to drive which should help you learn ABS off and the best place to go to test out or to practice this is test drive because of the settings you can change and it doesn't matter what track you do uh, you can practice on any track really but I found a good one because it has quite a few braking points uh, quite easy to remember braking points in this track so I go to Sebring and I go to the club circuit because there's quite a few braking points in this one with markers as well which makes it a bit easier okay so the key to all of this is how much uh, pressure you put on the brake pedal so if you look at the bottom right you can see the red bar going up and down that's 100% but really what you want to be doing is aiming for between 50 and 80% of uh, pressure which is about here but the proper way to test this out is press down on the d-pad and then you've got an actual percentage figure there on the bottom right so about 69 70 that's that's a good percentage that's what you're aiming for in every corner I'd say 70% works on pretty much every car on any track so that's the figure you want to aim for and you can see there I can get it quite consistently but it doesn't matter if you get only say 50 or once you start going above 80 that's when you're going to start locking your brakes which is not a good thing and I'll show you more of that later so aiming really between 50 and 80 but I normally try and go for 70% um, so you can drive this telemetry view on which if that helps you and we're going to pull away here and get going so this uh, track has a quite a few braking points here as you can see uh, which makes it quite a lot easier to get your consistency down because consistency is the one thing you want with brakes so we're going to go full speed here and I'm going to show you where you should be braking on this track so coming into this next corner we're going to go very conservative into this first one and brake at the first um, set of cones here so you can see I locked up slightly there getting around 70 between 70 and 80 percent there which was pretty much exactly what I need and on this corner you're going to brake after the cone on the right hand side so let go past that and then start braking again in the 60s percent there which is pretty much perfect and for this corner brake just after the final mobile one banner on the left and again 
between 50 and 60 percent there so not too bad and this one just after the curb that's where you want to break there so not quite as high there on the percentage but good enough so into the first corner it's a very short track this one with just a few corners we're going to break on the first set of cones on the left hand side and they're coming up just now there there they are and you can see they're pretty much nailed on 70% uh, there or high 60s which is exactly what you want so we're going to go around again for another lap so pretty much all you're trying to aim for is that 70% um, ideally you not want to be looking you don't want to be looking at the percentage you want to be focusing on the track itself so you sort of just have to tell yourself in your mind as you come up to these corners 70% 70% you have to keep reminding yourself that you are on ABS off and you can't just slam it down 100% so you see they only got 44% but it's still got in just just about so getting 70% isn't crucial but it does help to get the absolute maximum out of your brakes so I'm going to show you on this next lap what happens if you just slam down the uh, brake pedal so once you start going above 80% you're going to start locking up the brakes and the bad side of that is you can't turn and the braking distances are longer so if we brake at the same point again first set of cones I will slam down the pedal I'm turning in full lock nothing is happening actually they got in quite nicely there but that is not the that is really is not the way you want to be uh, braking at all because the car has less control and it's not as quick and normally it does extend your braking distances so we break at the first set of cones so I'm turning in and it's not going in at all if anything I'm braking a bit too early so that's not really demonstrating exactly how bad it is but this kind of corner will show you if I slam down the brakes here I'm just going to go straight on and I can't turn at all so that is the main downside of 100% uh, brakes so you just have to remem remember that you have to hold it down about three quarters of the way and you will be nailing those breaking points and getting far better lap times so if we go back into the normal view here if you are unsure of the breaking points still you can this is the beauty of the test drive mode you can go over to assist and just change them here and there so these are my settings so of course ABS is off and this one here braking only you can turn on the suggested line if you're still unsure about the braking points this will give you some stability and some uh, consistency if you're still unsure because I know there's a lot of people who do use the suggested line and if you're going without these assists it can be hard to go f you know full out without these assists so it is a good idea maybe just to keep on braking only because then you can still see the uh, braking points and it just makes you a bit more comfortable so to begin with we're going to go with this and you see there that is probably a bit too early I'd, I'd say for that corner but uh, not too bad in the end this is the bad side of these uh, uh, racing lines or the suggested lines I don't think they're 100% accurate uh, I wouldn't rely on them for too long if possible but that was fairly good actually but of course the main thing you're really trying to get here is 70% on the brakes and that is pretty much all you have to do once you've nailed that once you can get it in your head that you have to be doing that every corner then you should be really comfortable this was actually one of the easier assists for me to learn I thought traction control was harder and manual was harder as well so hopefully a lot of you should be able to pick this up uh, pick this one up quite easily uh, you can see they're getting a bit sideways over the curb which was not ideal now what do you do if you do accidentally start locking up here is what you do so if you go into a corner and you forget and you go in 100% on the brakes you just got to release the throttle uh, release the brake a little bit so I'm gonna go lock up just release the brakes a little bit so as soon as you start hearing that um, tire squeal um, you just got to release the brakes slightly sometimes you can just come off completely then go back on and back up to 70% so we're gonna I'm gonna uh, shut up for a second here and you can hear what it sounds like when, it, when you lock up so it's quite a distinct sound 
uh, once you can hear that you just got to let off the brakes ever so slightly back down to below 70% and you should be okay. Now I've read a couple of guides online about ABS which say that you should slowly press down the brake pedal as you enter the braking points but I don't agree with that at all because the braking points aren't very long at all and if you start pressing it very slowly it's just going to take even longer to start braking. And another thing that you shouldn't do is blip the, uh, blip the brakes, you should do it in one constant motion. So this is what you shouldn't do, I'll give you a demonstration into turn one. You shouldn't go on and off because that doesn't help at all. So two things to avoid there is don't uh, slowly press it down to begin with and don't blip the brakes. You just want one constant um, braking force, so go straight up to 70% and you will be okay. Now if you feel as though your car is locking up too easily you can go into the tune setup uh, menu here. This is one of the good sides of the test drive mode and go along two brakes which is here then turn this down, turn down the braking force to, well it depends on the car, it depends how easily it's braking, uh, depends how easily it's locking up but the further down you go the harder it will be to lock up the car but your car won't break as quickly that's the downside but to be honest I don't change this at all I just leave it 100% leave this at 50 50 if you start putting this uh, towards the front the car will lock up and it won't turn at all and if you put it to the rear the car will become very nervous and it's more likely to oversteer on brakes so to be honest I'll just leave these I don't really bother um, adjusting those at all Alright, so that pretty much covers the guide. Uh, so we'll just recap quickly the points. So the first thing is dead zone settings. So on the controller, I use 15 on the inside for deceleration, 100 on the outside. Of course, I use left trigger for brake. If you're using a button, you'll have to remap it to the left trigger or another trigger for this to work. When you're practicing, uh, it's probably best just to choose one track, one car, get used to the settings get used to pressing the brake at 70% that is the magic number really in all of this you just have to learn to get that 70% it doesn't have to be exactly 70 it can be anything really between 40 and 80 but 70 is really the ideal number that you want to be aiming for so to practice that you can press down on the d-pad while you're driving and it will show you a percentage marker or you can just look at the bar on the bottom right hand corner in the gear next to your gears and it will show you how how much of a percentage you are using as well so the whole reason you're going to want to learn ABS off is because it will save you one or two seconds a lap and that is really crucial if you want to start winning races online if you want to beat some of the best drivers you simply have to learn with these assists off especially in the lower classes it really does save you a lot of time and if you want to become one of the top 1% drivers in Forza there's no reason why many of you can't be with just a little bit of practice. Um, these assists you just have to learn without them. And hopefully this guide and many more that I'll bring out will help you to become better at Forza. So let me know if you're having any problems with this in the comments section below and I'll try to get back to you. Also let me know what other guides you want. I will be bringing out a traction control one at some point. I do already have a manual with clutch guide. I also have a how to survive lap one guide for online racing which which should hopefully help you uh, escape all of the idiots which seem to be present online. Probably more now that everyone's got it for Christmas, all the 10 year olds have got it for Christmas and will be wrecking everyone most likely. But that is the end of this guide, I hope it has helped you, let me know if it does. Hit the like button if it does help you of course, and subscribe if you want to see more of the same. I thank you very much for watching this video and I shall see you in the next one. Goodbye.